And we're back, Human Nuggets here with some more Modern Warfare 2 content for you today. We uh, got the M16 finished out to the 1000 kills, and I'll just quickly run through the class setup I was using for it. We've got the FTAC Castle Comp here, with horizontal mainly for the recoil control, and then just gun kick and recoil stabilization maxed out in the tuning. We got the Carbine Shroud here, again for just that recoil control and everything. Uh, and then in the tuning, ADS speed instead of damage range, and again just recoil maxed out. Then we got uh, aiming oil steadiness and recoil stabilization maxed out on the FTAC Ripper here. Again, just this gun is all about getting that recoil done. So again, second ZX grip, recoil control. Tuned, sprint to fire speed, recoil steadiness. And then lastly we got the Demo Fade Pro Stock, which is actually more for mobility here, and we got that aiming idle stability just maxed out instead of uh, aim walking speed because it's still a positive in the mobility, but it just uh, again helps with that recoil. And then a ADS speed because this gun starts out slow as shit and it just gets worse with the attachments you put on it, so you know you don't want to harm it too much. Then if you're going on uh, large maps than shoot house or trying to do in ground war or anything, which I would not recommend, but I would swap out the barrel for a laser or optic attachment because the barrel does hurt your damage range. So yeah, this this gun is just fucking atrocious. It's got a ah oh, fuck off. It's got atrocious stats all round. I think that it technically has the fastest potential. Ah, oh, that's the same fucking guy as before. I think it has the fastest potential, like technical TTK, out of any gun if you get a one burst kill. But, uh, oh, you gotta be really lucky to get that one burst kill most of the time, even with all the recoil attachments. Uh, fuck off. And then, yeah, it's just. Uh, like, it can be good. Like, you saw some of the clips I had at the start. I got, like, quad feeds and shit with it. But that was really just from the sheer amount I was using it. Sometimes it's bound to happen with anything. It's, uh... And, yeah, it's got some of the worst ADS sprint to fire, all that, of the entire class. If you miss that one burst, it drops down to the lowest uh, TTK out of any of them. What? How the fuck did he see me? Okay, so I can't see the backside of that car through the smoke, but he could see me. Great. <sighs> yeah, it does have a really fast reload compared to the other assault rifles, I'm pretty sure, which I guess is something, but, you know, when it's just so terrible to use, like, everywhere else, why would, why would you care about that? I got a VTOL up there, so I'm gonna die, yep. I should go back to running cold-blooded sometimes, but I'm just so used to fast hands now. They need to get rid of that fucking shit in normal fucking call matches where the crashing vehicles can kill you. Keep it for your tier 1 playlist and shit, it makes sense there, but here it's just like... The amount of times where I've been, like, across the map and just my teammates blowing up a vehicle got me killed. Like, how is that in any way fair? Like, you can see there, like, fucking... It can take so much to kill someone. You can get that one burst, but it can also take five fucking bursts. Doesn't help that there's right shield people on the other team this match. Because, unlike normal guns where you can run around them and spam fire, it's a lot harder with this thing. Because if you miss that first burst, they are going to stun you by hitting you once. But yeah, I did intend on making a video still yesterday because I realized that I still have all the spec ops stuff I haven't done even once. Uh, so like I have operators locked behind that still. And uh... You know, I could always just do, like, a barely edited DMZ run or something and get, uh, ten minutes or so out of that. 
uh, for content, but I ended up getting a bit sick. I was under the weather. I'd slept for like 10 hours straight, which, you know, I normally get the very healthy, like, fucking five hours, which, yeah, I know. I should work on that, but it's fucking... My brain just doesn't like sleeping. I'm still awake at two in the morning half the time, and then because of my old and current work schedule, I'm just used to waking up ridiculously early, so my body at latest wakes me up like fucking, uh, like nine o'clock is kind of the latest I'll ever wake up. It's just, ooh. Like, I'm, I'm assuming it's what I'll make the title of the video about you needing to be lucky to do well with this gun, and it's really true. Like, fucking, that burst all needs to hit. I think, in, in the closest damage range, it's like, uh, you can get it, like, a one burst anywhere to the torso, but like, you know, if you get that slight sideways and hit a limb, you're fucking done for. And then at further distances, you gotta uh, fucking go all the way out to like getting a uh, them in the headshot collarbone range with like the entire burst. And good fucking luck getting that done. And like this is with it fully fucking attached it up for recoil. I did originally have like a different setup where I wasn't using a barrel for the damage range shit and I just I wasn't getting it consistent enough so I I changed it up and what you saw is what I ended up deciding on for uh how I do like uh probably like 70% of the entire thousand kills I was rocking this uh loadout which, uh, the lobbies were also a bit easier, because, uh, well, you know, skill-based matchmaking, you do shit, they put you in easier lobbies, and I've been using the, uh, the hurricane in between where I finished this gun out, and before I recorded the video, because, uh, I finished this around, uh, mid-afternoon today, had the day off. This gun in its current state is its buffed gun as well. Like, it used to be even worse than this somehow. But they buffed, like, almost every stat for it in the Season 1 patch. And yeah, it's just like, fuck. I used- I'd gotten the, the camo grind done for it before the patch, but then coming back and using it for, uh, for these kills, it's like, fucking, I don't know how I would have dealt with it, like, doing this in its old state, just knowing that it's worse than this, it's like, fucking hell. How did they release that as a gun, and think, yeah, this deserves to be in the weapon rotation? Like, that's what fucking playtesting is for. But, uh, I'll leave it there for today. I uh, didn't get way fast enough there, but I hope you've enjoyed, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.